What is up, Packer fans out there watching and listening? Guys, what is up? I, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that the Packers, with a 3-6 and six record, they're not going to be making the playoffs. And that's a tough pill to swallow as a Packer fan because that is a term that we're not used to saying. In fact, I think we've only had to say that a handful of times since 92, right? Three decades of dominance for the Green Bay Packers. So we are having to talk about now restructuring and or just what do we need to do to get better for the future? Two words come to mind, right? And it's draft capital and cap space, cap space to be able to sign free agents and or restructure contracts of current guys you have on the roster, all of that stuff, guys. So I want to take a look into the future in this video. And I'm not talking five years down the road. I'm talking I'm talking just next year down the down the road, right? So the near future for the Packers. So before I get into it, guys, take a second to subscribe. Okay, so here's the thing. When we talk about cap space for the Green Bay Packers, it's not a rosy picture for them because they just have $6.9 million in 2024 for cap space, which ranks 22nd in the league. Okay, so that is not good. So what do the Packers need to do to free up some cap space? They need to look at their current roster, who's holding a lot of that cap space. Uh, and there's one guy that comes to mind, and I think you guys probably knew who I'm going to talk about and discuss, David Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari is set to account for $40.5 million in cap space next year. Yeah, $40.5 million. If they release him, they would only be on the hook for $19.1 million, which it sounds like a lot, but that's a lot less than the $40.5 million in the form of dead cap charge. So Packers really need to look at, and I think that they are going to go in that direction based off of what I've been reading and hearing out there. They do need to cut ties with Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari sends his injuries. Uh, they've just completely plagued him, unfortunately for him, because he's been such a stud in this league and for the Green Bay Packers. But that is a guy that they they really just need to move on to free up some cap space, uh, a lot of cap space to get back on track. Um, so when we talk through like, you know, what they need to do, cap space and freeing up roster spots to create room for guys with more promise. A guy that comes to mind for this upcoming year when we start talking about that is a guy, Samori Torre. Torre, uh, cutting Torre would um, only free up about a uh, million dollars in cap space, but this would be more of freeing up a uh, the room for just another guy with more promise like we have talked about because they do have Romeo Dobbs, Christian Watson. Jaden Reed, who's just exploded into, I think, one of the better rookies uh, as far as offensive rookies this season. Um, and Dontavian Wicks, who seems to be a favorite target for Jordan Love. So uh, Samori Torre, again, he doesn't free up a ton of, of cap space for you to get better, but it is just, just around a million dollars. Another guy that would free up some cap, cap space for the Packers is Royce Newman. Royce Newman, he's had his challenges throughout the last couple of years. So I think a lot of people, you know, would be like, sure, let's cut ties with Royce, Royce Newman. Royce Newman, he would free up just over a million dollars in cap space. Sean Ryan, um, he would have more opportunity to do his thing as a, as a floating guard. Uh, he is, you know, Sean Ryan shows a lot more promise. And, and if he's not the guy, then you look to the draft anyways, and you're just like, okay, so who could we get out there, you know, that that has more promise than Royce Newman? And I think we wouldn't have to look too far to to get that result. So uh, so then we talk about, OK, so who are some guys that are uh, on contract, uh, you know, years this upcoming year? And I just want to look at one guy, one guy um, that the Packers should not sign that would take up some cap space. And he struggled a lot this season, but he has come into his own the last couple of games. He's he's looked good. He's been one of the more bright spots on offense for the Packers. Who am I talking about? Packers need to not sign AJ Dillon. Okay, so AJ Dillon would take up some some money and some cap space, and he's just not that guy. You can find AJ Dillon out there in the draft this season. Um, guys, let me know what you think. Leave your comments. 
what are your thoughts? What should the Packers do? Uh, who should they get rid of? Who's your number one guy that they shouldn't, uh, you know, resign? AJ Dillon is that guy for me. Anyways, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Go Pack.